let this be in my dream. Hey, buddy. Bye, Everett. See you soon. Feet away. Six feet away. That's what they've been saying to do, I think. Wow. That was the first human contact I've had in weeks. <laughs> Just kidding. But kind of not really, actually. Um, all right. So I kind of want to preface this video by letting you know that... Uh, oh, okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm driving, but the car drives itself. I have a Tesla now. I think you knew that. In case you didn't know that. I have a Tesla now. I will be making a video about me getting it, that process, like everything in its entirety, the whole story. I just I haven't shared anything with you about that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's happening, people. It's happening. Holy smokes. I haven't had something this new ever. Whoa. Whoa. How do you how do you drive this thing? Basically, because once I got it, I started making some other videos, but then this whole like coronavirus, COVID-19 stuff. Uh, kicked in and and you know I'm sure if you're watching this somewhere in the world you're probably either heard of it have been affected by it or are currently being affected by it it's it's crazy what's going on but anyway with all that being said I felt like I didn't want to put a video out uh, you know about like not that like I feel like that's like the elephant in the room right now someone's calling me and so I figured it'd be better if I tried to address uh, you know this entire thing and kind of give you my perspective on it You're probably asking why am I out and about I haven't been I promise I, I've actually been home with my wife and my dog and we have like not left the house at all Both of us are working from home. Thank God. We still have work. That's awesome, but it's been great I mean, we've been trying to make the best of it and we've been cleaning we've been having fun Reorganizing decluttering doing a bunch of stuff in the house But I have been leaving for a couple things not much not much we go to leave like we like let the dog out Obviously maybe go for a run and obviously social distance distancing six feet we're doing all that stuff washing hands being very careful when we go to the grocery store all that stuff I have not left except for the groceries exercise and then where I'm headed to right now which is the church because we've been doing online services so again I promise I haven't been out I've, I've been home I've been following the rules as you all should be as well however I do have thoughts and I'd love to share them with you so let me get to the church let me get situated let me definitely get some chick-fil-a and then we'll sit and talk Not sure about yours, but our local Chick-fil-A is still open, and in my opinion, as long as they're open, everything's fine. Coronavirus, COVID-19, yeah, um, it's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's like crazy what's going on, like, it, what's interesting about it is that obviously it's not just, you know when there's like tragedy or there's a crisis somewhere and you're like, for example, let's say there was a shooting somewhere, you're like, oh man, like, like you feel horrible. But for those people, the people that are over there, you're instantly like, man, my thoughts and prayers go out to those people. They go out to that, that region because the problem and the crisis is over there. The weird part and the interesting part about this particular outbreak or pandemic or epidemic, I forget what they're calling it now, epidemic? Pandemic, I think it's a pandemic. Coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever. The interesting part about it is that it's, it's not just over there anymore, it's, it's everywhere it's here it's it's all over the world it's so interesting that so many people are being affected by this literally everywhere hey yo what's up man what's going on how are you i'm good i'm good man how's it going dude it's going good what's what's new york city like <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's taking a nap <laughs> and what, what's it like to see New York City like like shut down? What's that like? It's unreal. It's different. But but here's the thing. It's it's difficult because there's so many people talking right now. There's so many people, so many so many voices, so many opinions, so many timelines, so many news outlets and influencers and medical and financial. So many people have like an opinion on this that there's so much noise. It got me to a place where I was like, man, am I? I was like, am I? I feel like anxious right now. Everything else got quiet in my head and I literally just thought to myself, what's God saying? What's God saying about all this? You know, what's what's his opinion? Hey, Yo, what's up? <laughs> How are you doing? It's going good, how are you? I'm just doing well, today's a good day. 
It's so interesting. You have like the famous like COVID-19 <laughs> coronavirus, like, you know, what everyone's talking about. It's so interesting. Yeah. I guess, how does that make you like feel? Like, you know, like... <laughs> so, one secret bubble, 10 years ago, I had H1N1. Really? So, yeah. Oh, so this is not your first rodeo here. <laughs> uh, so I went to the emergency room a week ago, so last Saturday, and then I was admitted Sunday morning to the hospital. And then Monday night, the COVID test came back up. There's no medicine for a virus, right? Yes, of course. Your immune system is what fights yeah, it, right? That's it. Exactly. So the only thing they can do is just stabilize the vitals. Okay. So once they're able to stabilize the blood pressure, the heart rate, things like that, um, then they're able to discharge you to self-isolation or self quarantine Gotcha. And so, so your your full time job now is just to stay away from people, right? <laughs> Pretty much. One thing I've seen in this is the community is incredibly strong. You and Teddy reaching out, like how much big church reaching out. And I think that's exactly what we need to do. Um, I do think this is an incredible time for the church to be the church. I'm really blessed. God has been abundantly good to me throughout this. Maybe for some of you watching, you're not a believer. That's fine, whatever. I understand, it's no problem. I love you either way. I, you couldn't make me not love you, I love you, it doesn't matter. But for me, that's what happened to me. And every day since then, I've gained more peace and more peace and more peace about it because here's what's interesting. I think people think that they have this, they, this ability to control their life. You know, if you really think about it, we don't have control of our lives the way that we think that we do. And I, I think it's interesting because what this is doing for people is it's giving people perspective. It's giving people an understanding that, you know what, you really don't have control of your life. Or at least the control that you thought you had. Hey, hey, what's up? How are you, how are things? I'm good, man, how are you? Great, great, just say, say hi to you. I dropped you. We're on lockdown, like the gyms are closed. You're only allowed out of your house for for certain things. But the thing about it is, I know this is gonna sound, sound weird, but like without without night, there's day, like yin yang, there has to be opportunity in this crisis. And the cream will rise to the top. It's either a situation of roll over and take it from this, or you stand up and you fight it and you survive. And people are resilient, they're more resilient than they know. It's just a mindset really, like, cause the world's still turning. It's just which side of it you're gonna go on. I'm just not gonna let it destroy my business or beat me, like, you know? And so this thing is bringing out a ton of vulnerabilities in people. It's bringing out a lot of fear and stuff that people had inside that they didn't even know they had. And so as tough as this is, as hard as it is to deal with, to try to understand, I'm actually trying to find the best in it. Yes, is it serious? Yeah, like, should we be home? Should we be washing our hands, not touching our face? Yeah, you know, yes, but at the same time, I am just a personal believer and I think the media took this thing and just gave it the hardest spin that they could and people are scared all over the world right now and should we be taking it seriously? Yes, should we be as scared as we are? I just don't think so. I just don't think so.